Hi, I'm here today with colleagues from Education Cannot Wait. We're in Kaya, this is in Santo North region in Burkina Faso. This is a place that has been really affected by the violence that has been plaguing the country in recent years. Just in this province, 250,000 children need support to access education. We've seen the needs today, we've seen the schools, we've seen the lack of materials, hundreds of kids in one single classroom. So this is why we're here to hear them tell us what we can do for them. Alors nous avons reçu euh, trois fois des fonds d'éducation de Canot 8. Euh, ces enfants qui bénéficient de euh, ces projets-là ont, ont vu leur vie changer parce que des enfants qui ont quitté des zones en conflit, qui se sont retrouvés dans de nouvelles zones où euh, leur cursus scolaire a été donc interrompu, ont pu encore repartir à l'école. Quand on échange avec ces enfants, quand on voit la joie aussi de leurs parents de constater que les enfants peuvent continuer donc à avoir l'éducation, c'est assez important pour nous euh, en termes d'impact ou de changement en tout cas sur les, les bénéficiaires. Since 2019, Education Cannot Wait has been making investments in the education system in Burkina Faso, in the regions most affected by the security crisis. I think what we've seen today is just the pressure that is being put on that existing education system. Class sizes which have doubled, tripled as a result of those displacements. We've just launched a three-year multi-year resilience program. It has a budget of 59 million. We are contributing 11 million. We need another 48 million to ensure that all children have access in these crisis-affected zones.